There's been a lot of buzz the last couple of years about bees and why they're dying off. Is there anything that farmers could do to make areas more bee friendly? Well, as KEZI 9 News reporter Rhoda Krause explains, Oregon State University researchers just received a large grant to develop a tracking device for bees, hoping to answer some of these questions. We put microchips in our pets in case they get lost, tracking devices in our phones. And now OSU researchers will be able to track bees after they develop a small sensor to attach to the insects. If we could put a little sensor, like a chip, on the back of a bumblebee and then watch it as it, you know, sort of track it, then that will give us this information. Information like where bees forage and if they stick with their colonies. So here, for instance, is a colony. You've got one queen, but you've got lots and lots of workers. And it would be nice to know, are they all going to the same place? Are they going to different places? These are bee species native to the Willamette Valley. These are solitary bees and these are bumblebees. Rao says a third of human food consumption is pollinated by insects, mainly bees. And in the valley, she says there are many crops that need pollination. You know, you've got the colony collapse, you've got other diseases in honeybees. So we do need an alternative pollinator and bumblebees are, you know, very good for that. The project's a partnership between entomologists and engineers at OSU to create a sensor that is small and light enough so the bee is not harmed. They can tell you, okay, that's exactly where the bee is. I mean, that's pretty cool. The project could lead researchers to track other small insects as well. A lot of these invasive insects, you know, they come, they invade, they go into all these cropping systems. So wouldn't it be great if we could track those as they're spreading across Oregon? Researchers at OSU are now working on developing the sensor and expect the project to take at least a year. In Corvallis, Rhoda Krause, KEZI 9 News.